Remember when I said it wasn't a good idea to wash your jeans at 60 degrees? Turns out it was wrong. Right, if you just landed in this video, this is actually the third part, like the third and final part of a three-parter, obviously. Anyway, this video was just meant to be a little short look at a pair of nudie jeans that I've been using as workwear pants. But I didn't script it, and that was my, my first mistake. And if I don't script things, then I just tend to ramble on, and the video ended up being far, far too long. So yeah, I had to split it up into three parts. First part, I looked at the fit, looked at the denim, and talked a little bit about where the fit came from and why it was good for workwear. In the second part, I looked at the, the fades in the jeans and some of the repairs that were done, and also talked a little bit about how I was going to wash them. In this part, I'm going to see how the fades turned out and also measure them up to see if they shrank down at all. Okay, you know what's way more interesting than the jeans? My little seedlings that I've started to germinate. That's just amazing. I mean, I just, you, you stick some seeds in some soil and they grow. I, I know that shouldn't be amazing to me, especially since I actually grew up in the countryside. I still find that kind of stuff very, very cool. All right, but first off, I've got to clear all this stuff off. Why can I never, ever work clean? That's way better. And that's going to be important in a second. First, I want to have a look at what's going on with the fades and how the washing has affected that. See if we've got any blowouts from the denim that sometimes happens when you do wash. And then afterwards, we can look at the measurements to see if these have shrunk down at all. Right, I can't remember which way around I did it last time, but um, maybe start. let's start with the front pockets. Okay, overall what I see is happening is that that electric blue color has come out from the indigo because I don't think I'd ever washed these jeans before. So we're getting that, that, sort of, that pop and we're getting rid of that, we're getting rid of that nasty gray looking way that the fabric gets when you haven't washed it that's just from, from dirt. You know, if you've got dirty white fabric, it looks kind of yellowy gray, that's exactly what happens with denim when you've got some fading where the core, the white core of the yarn is showing through and it's just covered in dirt. So yeah, we can see that quite starkly around the pockets and to the fly. Now this is a zip fly, so we don't have any button fades coming through. There's a tiny bit of whispering coming through, not really very much at all. They're quite, I think I looked it up online, they call them a carrot fit, which actually fits, meaning that they're like very wide or pretty wide up in the thighs and they taper down very, very narrow towards the, towards the hem. That means we're not gonna really have too much creasing around the crotch which means that we're not going to have such stark whiskering. In fact, there's, yeah, there's, there's very little at all. And what there is, they're quite sort of parallel lines. A little bit more on the phone fades as well. A little bit on the thigh. Over to the other sides, we're seeing even less. I mean, I don't keep my phone in my right hand pocket. Again, there's really nothing showing through, nothing very much showing through on the coin pocket either because apparently I wasn't carrying my Zippo at that time. A lot of this is gonna be referring to part two. So if you're not seen that, I, I head over and have a look at that so you can see sort of the both before and after. Okay, towards the crotch. Yeah, again, we're just seeing more of the same. We're seeing that a little bit of the, the dirt has come out. So it's a little bit less gray and that's like highlighting the contrast of the fades on the jeans. That's why if you want really good fades on your jeans, you do have to wash them eventually. and. I'd say six months around about the mark that I like to wash them. If you're doing manual labor, then I'd say much, much more regularly. Let me just see if the, if the crotch, which the crotch wasn't showing too much wear at all, which I'm, I'm quite surprised at given how light this denim was. And I wasn't seeing any signs of a crotch blowout. And that's not really changed after the wash. Yeah, I don't know why that is. And I mean, looking at how much I obviously did wear the jeans, I'd expect there to be a little bit more wear in the crotch, especially considering that it's such a sort of sag down crotch that usually it gets quite a lot of wear from rubbing between the thighs. Could have something to do with the fact that denim is lighter and it's got that stretch in it, so there's not so much strain on these sort of strain areas. Towards the back, again, we're just seeing some more nice contrasty fades coming out. Okay, I thought the back of the button went rusty, but that's actually just copper. Hmm. 
Actually, the paint's come off way more than I thought. Can almost like chip that off totally. Interesting. Uh, there's very little honeycombs going on here. Again, this is because of the light denim, because there's a bit of stretch in the denim. So one takeaway from this is that if you want sort of high contrast fades, if you want stark, like really strong high contrast fades, the lighter denim combined with the stretch is probably not the way to go. You want a, a heavier weight denim and you don't want any stretch in it because you want it to actually crease and you want it to, you want the creases to, to be, you want the jeans to fit around your body and you want them to crease and not stretch. And that's the way that you're going to have sort of the high and the low points in the denim and that's the way you're going to get your high contrast fades. I mean, I've talked about this before, right? I've talked about vintage fades and one way to get vintage fades as well as washing quite regularly is that you you pick a, a lighter weight denim. If you go like really back in time, you see these old jeans, you wouldn't say that they've got high, high contrast fades in them. And that's something to do with the, the weight of the denim. The lighter denim doesn't crease so much, so it doesn't get the high and low points and then it doesn't fade quite as dramatically as a 14 ounce and above denim will. Okay, down at the hem. Yeah. I'm actually seeing a little bit of roping, even though I would say that this has been hemmed and this has been run around by a chain stitch. I, I'd say this is this is a bit too wide to really get some proper roping, but we're getting more than I expected considering this is a, a Samprise denim and it's also got some stretch in it. Right, now for the part that I'm really, really curious about. Have these things actually shrunk? Because I ended up just throwing them into the wash with my, with my towels and my sheets. That was just the washing that I had to do anyway. And I always wash my towels and my sheets, I wash it at 60 degrees, which is something that I would really, really not recommend for anybody to do with a pair of jeans. But this just goes along with the fact that it's not that I, yeah, it really is that I'm being pretty nonchalant about how I'm treating these jeans. I'm treating them as workwear. I'm just treating them as something that I need to use. And I shouldn't have to put on a special wash for something that I just want to use in a utilitarian way. Now, I'm really not expecting too much shrink out of them. They're samphorized, they're a pretty standard denim, and they've also got that, that bit of stretch that's woven into the fabric. So, but it is a bit of a punt, it's a bit of an experiment, and I'm very curious to see what happens. So I should probably stop talking about it and just get to measuring them up. Naturally. Remember when I said it wasn't a good idea to wash your jeans at 60 degrees? Turns out I was right. Okay, so. The measurements break down like this. In the waist, they lost exactly an inch. In the rise at the back, they lost an inch and a half, which is quite significant actually. In the thigh, they lost yeah, just under an inch. In the knee, they lost half an inch. Yeah, it's to be expected, like it's getting narrower, the less there to shrink in. Uh, in the leg, they lost an inch and a half, which that could actually be a problem. I mean, they're quite short jeans anyway. They were meant to be cropped, but that's, it's not gonna wear, it's not gonna make them unwearable for me, but that's that's more than I expected. And the leg opening has lost yeah, a quarter of an inch. So really, that's, that's really nothing to worry about. It's nothing significant. For everything else, yeah, for the, for the waist, for the thigh and for the knee, and yeah, possibly for the leg opening, but that's not important. I expect that to stretch back out again. The rise at the back might also stretch out a little bit again, but there was such a, a drop crotch in that anyway that, that having that rise a little bit higher is, is, is nothing bad. The leg is the only thing that won't stretch back out again, and that loss of an inch and a half, it might make them look a little bit strange on me, actually. I'm gonna have to try them on, I'm gonna have to see. And well, we, we have to see how these are actually gonna fit. So yeah, guys, that just means that the, the pants are just gonna, they're gonna have to come off again. Somebody commented today on the placement of my live mic in another video, uh, saying that I should tape it to the inside of uh, whatever jacket I'm wearing. So I guess this setup is gonna drive him nuts, but I, I will do better with that in the future. Okay, let's see, cause these, 
they really, it, it was going to be totally okay that the, the rise has shortened up a little bit. The waist was already too big for me anyway, and I think I had room through the thighs. It's really only the length that I'm worried about. Oh, okay. They, they, they definitely feel much, much more fitted, probably overly fitted through the, through the legs. And the waist is still, still a little bit too, still a little bit too big, but, big, but not as bad as it was, but yeah, the legs are just not, not too comfortable. I mean, I really don't mind, I, don't, I, I like a tapered leg. Yeah, I think that works pretty well for most people, but I certainly don't like, I, I don't like a, a skin tight leg. I, these are feeling quite leggingy. Right, it's hard for me to see like on the tiny little screen there, but just my, my gut impression, I don't know. You're gonna have to tell me how the ass looks. Uh, yeah. Probably should have washed at 40. But oddly enough, the leg, the leg length doesn't bother me too much. They're sitting quite high up in my hips. That's, that's totally fine. And the butt does feel a little bit better than it was. And the leg length is totally okay for me. That's, that's really fine. I mean, I'll never be able to, I won't be able to cuff them again, but that's, that's okay. I'll put it this way. I'm very glad I did this with a pair of jeans that I don't really care about too much. So yeah, the, the overall outcome of this little experiment is that definitely don't wash your jeans at 60 degrees. Uh, unless you've got like a lot of shrink to come out of them. Even then, I don't think you need to wash your jeans at 60 degrees. I'll still be wearing these jeans for, for working in. I mean, yeah, they're not so unwearable that I, I, I would want to throw them away or to, to sell them or anything. And I probably couldn't sell them on because they're covered in paint. I'm very happy with how the fades come out. That is, is just another indication that it's very important to, to wash your jeans if you really want great fades in them. It's the skin tight thing that I don't like. That's, that's the only problem. I mean, who knows, with a little bit of wear and actually wearing them if I'm still renovating, I'm actually sitting down now and it feels even more awkward. I mean, there's plenty of, there's plenty of mobility, there's plenty of, of movement in them, but, but it feels very, very tight. And that's just, it's not something I'm familiar with and it's not something I'm particularly comfortable with. And also, I don't think it looks particularly great either. Okay, it's time I brought this little experiment to a close because I think I've learned all I can from it. And what have I learned from it? Don't wash your jeans at 60 degrees. Not worth it, just don't do it. Just, just no. Uh, lightweight denim with a little bit of stretch in it is extremely good to work in. And this fit, this sort of carrot fit with the, the drop crotch, that was also extremely good to work in. It had plenty of movement through, through the sort of thighs and through the hips and it was high enough so my ass wasn't hanging out when I was bending down all the time. And that, that tapered leg, that extreme tapered leg, meant that they weren't flapping around all over the place and catching and stuff. So that was very practical. I think that all the workwear brands out there should start doing carrot fits and probably transition into the streetwear thing. Okay, no, don't do that. I've, I've got to end this video at some point, otherwise I'm gonna end up adding a fourth part to it. It's been long enough. Guys, I hope everyone's helping. Oh, subscribe if you like this video. Thumbs up would be great. Really appreciate it. Bell notification icon. Back to it. I hope everyone's happy out there. I hope you're taking care of yourselves. I hope you're taking care of each other. And I'm going to see you in the next video.